Last season, 94 points was not enough to make the playoffs, at least in the Pacific Division. Uh, 99 was the cutoff point. The LA Kings had that. Vegas had 94. They've had a lot of change since then. New head coach. Mm -hmm. They made huge splashes last year, especially with the Jack Eichel trade. And they made a huge splash this summer in trading Max Pacioretty's contract. And Max Pacioretty, by the way, is still a great player. Traded for nothing, though. He is. Yes. They were just in huge cap trouble, and Dodonov is gone, I believe, too. Yeah. So That's a lot of goal scoring right there. Yes. So, before we get into the breaking down of Vegas Golden Knights, what do the odds makers have them at at Sports Interaction, Jesse? SportsInteraction.com slash SDPN. That's correct. Over under is 96.5. Okay. That's a little low. You know? Seems a little low. 96? So, literally, they're saying, we think they'll win... Two more games max, essentially. That's what the odds maker have them at. Do you take the over or the under Steve Dangle? They are maybe the most difficult team to read in the league. Forget the division. Mm -hmm. I, however, I would sprinkle on the under. Mm -hmm. You'd sprinkle on the under. I'd sprinkle. That's a new one. Uh, Jesse. I, I hear conversation for the under, but I think I'll go over. Hear conversation. So you sprinkle the over? I'd sprinkle a little on the over. I, I am going with the over as well. Now, let's talk about the Vegas Golden Knights because, and this is a card reference, they seem to have potentially overplayed their hand. Ah. They have chased the shiny thing at the expense of unbelievable picks like Nick Suzuki and draft picks galore each and every season, starting with like the Thomas Tatar trade. Man. Yep. Right? Like, think of what they gave up to get Thomas Tatar. They're too old for a team that just got here. Yes, and they were extremely young when they were first here. And and what's what's been interesting is the players that have sort of stuck around, and by the way, nobody sticks around in Vegas, at least not the way they've run it so far. Um, you know, this was a young, fast team. Mm -hmm. Now they're an old, slowing, injury-prone team. Jack Eichel, major injury. Mark Stone, major injury. I think Chandler Stevenson had one. Um, missed some time in the playoffs a couple of years Alex ago. Alex Martinez, I think, missed some time as well. She didn't Shea Theodore miss a season? Or she missed some time? Uh, it's difficult to keep track of how many players were injured last year with the Vegas Golden Knights because it wasn't, the story wasn't just that they were injured. It's how long the team was keeping them out and how much yeah. of it was intentionally timed due to cap restriction. It right? was a rotating cast of injuries so they could play players yeah. and feel the team. It yeah. was like they're going to have to trade Mar uh, someone to activate Martinez, but then they didn't because they threw Mark Stone on mm -hmm. LTIR because he went and got And Robert Leonard was in that and conversation too because he was in and out with his injury. And uh, you have to back up even though you're hurt. <laughs> yeah, <because laughs> that happened. <laughs> yeah, man. And, like, and by the way, different. If you've forgotten how last season went for the Vegas Golden Knights, you can be forgiven because it was a carnival. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and and I think we should mention that Shea Theodore, by the way, has missed time every season, but last year was his healthiest to date. Um, Robin Leonard is going to miss this year, and I think we got to start with the biggest question with the Vegas Golden Knights and what's making them the hardest team in the league to read, which has got to be their goaltending. Is Robin it? Leonard is out. Nolan Patrick will also miss the season. Mm -hmm. He's not a goalie. But Logan Thompson and Laurent Bussoit. Sorry. Bussoit. Is Bussoit. it wrong to say that I like these three darts and I think one of them might hit? What do you no, mean? No, I understand that. Which darts? Uh, Logan Thompson, Aiden Hill, and Laurent Bussoit. I think there's three good darts you're throwing and one of them might be decent. Like I think you can get good goaltending out of one of these three. Mm. It's, a, it's a, not a bad trio. Uh, I think... Yeah, one of them ends up in the AHL. Like, it could end up being a very good trio. You're right. You're right, Jesse. Contract year mm -hmm. is always a For big thing. For two of them. Always a big thing. But now I'm, I'm looking at Vegas. So both of those goalies are in a contract year. The rest of Vegas is locked in. I mean, are locked forever. In. They know how to do that and then trade the guy. Every single member of yeah, the decor is here for uh, this season and next, except... An extremely poor, important piece. And I feel like people aren't quite understanding how important of a piece. And this will greatly affect their goaltending. So I think they're related conversations. Nick Hag, not having him signed to a deal right now. I don't know if that's because they're arguing mm -hmm. or because uh, they literally can't afford him. Not having uh, 
a guy who was at times Alex Petrangelo's D partner is going to be a huge issue for a team who has a new goalie. And if it's not a new goalie, it's a young goalie. Um, that's a really, really difficult uh, situation to read right now. Uh, he was skating in Vegas. Mm -hmm. That was positive. And then he left. He's skating with Kitchener now. It was notably not Vegas. I don't yes. know if you've ever been. Different nice. vibe. Different vibe. Yeah, there's a great hockey card store, Clutes and Chara. Check it out. But uh, no casino as far as I know. Um, uh, formerly Michael Amadio, still pulling third line wing duty. Just throwing that out there. Is he actually? Yeah. Um, we yeah. also, just on Nick Hague, we also can't get uh, an update on his injury status until he signed. Like, so, is yeah. there a team that w the world understands less than the Vegas Golden Knights? And is there a team that makes, like, people's lack of understanding of the Vegas Golden Knights is their fault. It is the Vegas Golden Knights' fault. It's not <laughs> because they're misunderstood. It's because you've made yourself impossible to understand. And big question marks up front, although huge potential firepower. We know what Marcia So Stevenson and Stone can do. We know that. Yep. But the first line is revamped. Riley Smith, an original, an OG. <laughs> like one of the two. Yeah, with Marcia So. Three. And William Carlson. Yeah. Um, Mar Riley Smith, Jack Eichel, Phil Kessel, and specifically Phil Kessel and Jack Eichel. Jack, for health reasons, Phil, for age and Arizona reasons, yes. are going to be looking to really perform this year. From what I understand, Phil Kessel's amped up. Kessel's, We've heard stories, actually. Yeah, how jacked he is to be with Vegas. Kessel, uh, I think, is going to continue to be what he has been for at least half a decade, which is one of the most underrated playmakers in the league. We've all known him as a sniper. Jack Eichel, though, was so... I thought he was actually pretty good for Vegas, which is heroic, because not only was he coming off of neck surgery, or disc replacement yeah. surgery... Supposedly, he played the vast majority of his games as a Vegas Golden Knight last year with a, what was it, a broken hand? I, th I think it was his thumb. His thumb? Yeah, it was a broken oh, thumb. Did you try to hold a hockey stick without your thumb? Yeah. Sucks! Uh, 34 games, he, he still got 25 points. Yeah, the points Come weren't on. really there, but the effort he was putting out in coming off of everything he had to deal with last season, plus the injury to his, to his thumb there. I liked what I saw out of Jack Echo, and I've seen a lot of the conversation of, is Jack Eichel actually good? Is oh, he an actual on. superstar? It's, it's swung and like, in, entirely it, too have far. Have you seen the wrong that direction. too? It's, it's, since he's been out, people have forgotten what Jack Eichel can be. And he's only 25 because he's been in, in the news so often in the media and he played in Buffalo. It feels like he's a lot older. It feels like he's on the 28 side. But a lot of people are doubting Jack Eichel's skills. And I think this is the year where we're like, oh, yeah. Guys, That's why he's $10 million. Two Could years ago, this guy had 36 free. goals in 68 games. He had 42 assists in 68 games. Two years ago. On a team that stunk. They, and, they were terrible. And now he's going to be playing pain-free with yes. more depth than he's ever played with in his career. Mm -hmm. And Phil Kessel. And Phil Kessel. Well, and, and so, okay. So Phil, Phil didn't score a lot of goals, especially in that last season in Arizona. Does Phil Kessel with Jack Eichel, does Phil Kessel get over 20 goals again? Yeah. Oh, because oh. he was a perennial 30 goal scorer with the Leafs he and was. with the Pens. Oh. Yeah, I think easily. I think we're in a 22 to 25 oh. Phil Kessel season. Delicious. Okay, I'm going to say yes. Not because I think it's the smart bet, but it's the fun one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I want to ask you guys, and I want to take the last minute to do this because I want you each to have like 20 seconds on this, okay? Okay. I want to know why, where you have Vegas and why you have them there ultimately. So I think back to the conversation we had about the Vancouver Canucks and how incredibly important Thatcher Demko is to their success. The same goes for every team and the same goes for the Vegas Golden Knights. It's really hard with a tumultuous goaltending situation. I have them fifth. They can make the playoffs fifth in the division. Sure they can. Mm -hmm. It's possible. I could easily see them doing better than fifth, but I have fifth. Jesse. I have them fourth, and I have them in the playoffs. We are, we forget how good the Golden Knights are when they're healthy. Yes. There yes. is so much firepower on this team, and the goaltending is. I think we'll get decent from some one of them three. We're gonna get decent enough goaltending to where the firepower and the defense. The defense has always been great, and every year they've been a franchise that they'll rack up enough points to make the playoffs. Agreed. I'm with you on that, Jesse. They are a powerful team when healthy, mm -hmm. and they've got a bunch of guys who've been surgically repaired, and one who desperately 
wants to crush it this year in Phil Kessel. I think they're back, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch Vegas this year. Look for them to be fourth place in my standing. Phil's such a needle mover. God, I love him. 